Peter Chan. Man, have you seen Edge Runners? Like Cyberpunk 77's anime, Edge Runners on Netflix. Man, Netflix has like been putting anger anime, and it's like not afraid to leave them uncensored. Because it's like, oh yeah, anime is for adults, not for kids. I mean, <laughs> anime is art for kids, and some aren't. Not in this one's pictures, but because we already seen it. If you want to see it, go check out the last episode. Uh, I forgot my past. Because this is connected to the X one. It still used to be in a beer made. Yeah. Alright, since we didn't finish this cutscene, right? Are you potty? You, know, watch it. you come here and tell Jarvis that you let that lovely, juicy specimen escape, and you think an apology's gonna cut it? Ooh, this jars. Do you crackpots think sorcerers like Veronica come along often? Do you have any idea what we'll have to do to nab a specimen like that again? You knew I wanted to drain all her magic so I could earn the Lord of Shadow's respect when he came back. All my plans shattered. The Lord of Shadows? That's them. They're the monsters who jumped me in the bathhouse and brought me here. See that jar by the big fat one? That's what he was sucking all my magic powers into. Then I guess we'd better figure out how to get them back. <sighs> Veronica. Huh? <gasps> oh, Smashy. I do love guests. <laughs> Especially when they bring me presents. If it isn't the one that got away, talk about it in the jackpot. Now, just sit tight while we suck every ounce of magic out of you. Boys, this lot have earned a VIP treatment. Get cracking! Ah, looks like we'll be fighting our way out of this one, whether we like it or not. Okay. Let's do this.
If I can't even beat the likes of you lot. Ugh. All my dreams shattered. Who is this Lord of Shadows you keep mentioning anyway? <coughs> You'll find out soon enough when everything finally goes to pot. <sighs> hmm. We'll find out soon enough, huh? Okay. <sighs> right. Time to get my magic back. I hope this works. worry on that front. I can feel the old magic zinging from the ends of my pigtails right down to the tips of my toes. But then why do you still look like a little girl? Oh. I'm not 
not really sure. I suppose whatever made me younger can't be fixed just by getting my powers back. But it could be worse. I mean, you know what they say. You're only young. Twice. Trust you to see the funny side. Well, I suppose I'd better get used to having a twin sister half my size. By the way, you have noticed who we're travelling with, haven't you? Of course I have. And so have you, it seems. Shall we? Yggdrasil's chosen, long have we waited to greet you. We of Arborea swear to protect you. While we live, none shall defeat you. There are those who would accuse you of bringing disaster on our world. Please, you must rest assured that they are wrong. You are a hero. The light in your eyes, the light told of in the legends of Arborea, it proves that beyond a doubt. <laughs> I knew it was you the moment I saw you. So now you have magical twins swearing to serve and protect you? I guess you really are the luminary, huh? Not that I ever doubted it, of course. There's plenty more we need to talk about, but we have to take care of something first. I wasn't the only one they were keeping prisoner, you know. Now, if I remember rightly, there should be a door around here somewhere. What a horrid place. Oh. Hey, who's there? Don't worry, you're safe now. We took care of that potty old fathead and his cronies. Thanks. I owe you one. I was starting to worry they were going to get sick of feeding me and decide to eat me instead. You were starting to worry? And what about your poor little daughter all on her own, hmm? How do you think she's been feeling? Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking. Wait. You know Connie? We do. And she's fine, thanks for asking. The owner of the bar back in town is looking after her. He's a mature, responsible adult, you see. Oh. Listen, I appreciate your help, really, I do. I'm Noah, by the way. If there's anything I can do to repay you, just say the word. Noah, huh? Where have I heard that name before? <laughs> oh, look, I've taken up enough of your time. I should, uh, get back and see how, uh, Connie's doing. <laughs> Thanks a million. <coughs> well, he certainly left in rather a hurry. You can say that again. Very fishy. Well, never mind. We should head back too. We deserve a rest.
awake at last, huh? Don't worry, we all just woke up too. And now we're up. It's time to continue our little talk from before about Serena and I and how we're going to help you. in Arborea. It says that one day the Dark One will descend to extinguish the light, but that Yggdrasil's chosen, the Luminary, bearer of the Mark of Light, will rise to meet him. I know it's hard to believe. I mean, look at you. But it's true. You're the reincarnation of the Luminary. The man who defeated the Dark One long ago. I still can't work out why they'd need to bring you back if the Dark One was defeated, to be honest. But ours is not to reason why. Once we fulfill our sacred duty and get you to Yggdrasil, I'm sure all will be revealed. Yggdrasil, huh? Well, I for one want to know what the heck's going on. Let's mosey on over there. Have you ever tried thinking before opening your big mouth? In case you hadn't noticed, Yggdrasil is floating in the sky. Mosey, he says, honestly. They say that the Luminary visited the World Tree before his battle with the Dark One. But alas, the legends do not tell us how. What? Not even you special protectors of the magical ancient wonder truths know? Bummer. Yggdrasil, Yggdrasil, Yggdrasil. Wait, I think I might have an idea. Really? What is it? You know that guy we bust out of jail yesterday? I remembered where I know him from. He sells information to, uh, people in my profession. And you think he might know how we can reach the World Tree? Wonderful! Well, what are we waiting for? To the bar! Daddy, let's go. The nice man who keeps bringing me drinks must be getting tired. Just uh, one more for the uh, road, sweetie. You never know. He might uh, have some hot gossip that I uh, need to hear. <laughs> Fishing for rumours, huh? Some things never change. Mm -hmm. You're Noah, right? In the circles I used to move in, you were pretty famous. You were the guy who knew things for the right price. No nugget of knowledge too big or too small. Noah the know-it-all knows them all. That's what they used to say, huh? <laughs> what if they did? I can't help it if juicy tidbits have an habit of falling in me lap now, can I? Well, I don't go trying to get mixed up in this stuff, it just happens. Like when I mistookenly went in the ladies' baths and their monsters they kidnapped me. I only stuck my head in there to see what all the commotion was, and there they was, attacking some poor girl. Normally, I would have walloped the lot of them, of course, but I just had me tea. The villains collared the both of us and, well, I just hope she's all right. She... kind of. Anyway, we were wondering if you might be able to help us out. What do you know about Yggdrasil? Crikey, you lot don't do things by us, do ya? Got a big score in mind, eh? Well, C 
Seeing as how you saved me life, I'll tell you what I know. On the way here, yes, Connie and me yes, yes. was travelling across the desert. When we came down, we have a bad case of heat stroke. We didn't have no grub left, no water, nothing. we just about given up hope. But then, these soldiers from Galopolis came along. Next thing I know, I'm waking up in a Sultan's bleeding palace. Oh, talk about lucky. Anyway, when I come to, that's when I seen it. Beautiful it was, this rainbow-coloured branch thing. Oh, shimmery and beautiful. Well, I know top end gear when I see it. If that weren't a branch of the old world tree, I'm a monkey's uncle. Did you hear that, Veronica? A branch from Yggdrasil herself? Yes. Lighting the path ahead for the luminary. It sounds like we need to take a trip to Galopolis. So it turns out you are capable of having ideas that aren't completely stupid after all. We should head for the desert right away. It's beyond the checkpoint southwest of here. That marks the border with Galopolis. I do hope you won't mind us tagging along. We of Arborea swear to protect you. While we live, none shall defeat you. Here, you'll need this to get to Galopolis. The guards at the checkpoint are awful sticklers for formalities, but if you show them that, they should let us through.
Yay, we got the, um, teleporting ability. Zoom! Not, not, not that kind of thing. But zoom! We can teleport now! To different points in the areas we already to. I don't know if we that in the game, but... Anyways, zoom! Oh yeah, by the way, the luminary. So we don't have to look there at your party. Um, anyways, let's go again. So, let's go! Into the world! Into the adventure! We you going to have a smart party? And don't come back! Even a thing! Oh, I don't remember. 
Another one bites the dust. We're here. You gotta go find the special guys, which are hidden all over the world. So they're different colors, and each color represents what around the world. I mean, so you see these white guys? There's different colors of those white guys. Like there's purple, and they're hidden all over the world. And for us to beat this game, we gotta find it. So keep your eyes peeled when you see a different color. Yeah. 
when I might sound racist and all, but still, we gotta find all the books. My eyeballs! He doesn't count. He's the one. He is hitting all over the world as well. So, when we see him, we gotta check up on. We gotta check up on that. See how many guys we got. Because we only got one book. And we need multiple. To complete this. That makes sense. Oh, oh so that's me. Yes, Dragon Quest is one of those games that requires multiple files. <laughs> that requires multiple files. Like Final Fantasy, it's a really multiple files. This guy leaves once the, um, towards the end of the game, because like I said before, the knights are useless. Don't have a useless army, guys. Make sure to train your army each and every day to win war and battle. Like the military. I wonder if we still have the military. Does the U.S. still have the military? What is the military base? Well, we still have the military base. Okay, so I already fought all these guys except for the No! Leave me alone! Ah! Kill him! Excellent! Hey, bro, holy shit, um... Uh, let, let's get the guy out of here, gang, before they shut the one to one. We're gonna swim in the desert where murder is legal. Yes, in any RPG, murder is legal in the desert. We're gonna murder all. Oh my lord! You want some?
of the desert night, isn't it? And of the racetrack where they love to compete. I think we've arrived in town just in time for the horse racing festival. Well, you go play with ponies if you like. I'm off to look for the Yggdrasil branch. That's why we're here, in case you've forgotten. Matt Pat's is looking for content again. Oh, let Mr. Moody No Fun go off on his own if he wants. There's nothing to stop us having a little look around while we're here. Alright, so we're gonna say this for next time. So for tomorrow, we're gonna finish this off because I want to get one story done, each one done, a different game. That's what I want. Because that way we can get this done much faster. I've been playing through 16 hours of a slogging story, me not saying, or regularly inputting content. BS that I put in yeah, it, it doesn't matter. We're saving this for tomorrow. Anyways, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Always remember to be cool. Peach fam! <laughs>